Welcome to the part 2 of introduction to CFD series. In this video, I will briefly introduce the grid or machines in the CFD. There are two types of grid, namely structured grid and unstructured grid. For structured grids, the nodes can be regarded as the points of intersections of Cartesian coordinate lines or curvilinear coordinate curves. The cells are distributed in an organized structure of rows and columns. As for unstructured grids, the cells are arranged in an irregular pattern. That's why unstructured. For structured grids, quadrilaterals are used in two-dimensional, where hexahedrons are used in three-dimensional. As for unstructured grids, triangles or quadrilaterals are used in two-dimensional, where tetrahedron, pyramid, triangular prisms, or hexahedrons are used in three-dimensional. Disregard the types of grid you chose, structured or unstructured, it is the quality of the grid that is most important for reliable CFD solutions. Indicators of grid quality include orthogonality, relative grid spacing, cells skewedness, cells aspect ratio, and so on. Poor quality cells can lead to convergence difficulties and inaccuracy in the CFD solution. Therefore, it is worth spending more time in generating a good quality grid if this is what it takes. If we were to approximate the derivative at point 1, by first order approximation, we have dy by dx approximately equals to delta y by delta x, which is equal to delta y by x2 minus x1. When delta x is small, the slope seems to represent the derivative well, but when the delta x is big, the slope is clearly different. Since the cell size represents the delta x, so technically, the smaller the cell size, the better the numerical approximation by CFD. If the cell size is too large, it may lead to inaccurate CFD solution. Therefore, CFD users need to examine if their solution is independent of the grid size. The standard methods to test for grid independence is to increase the grid resolution and repeat the simulation. If the results do not change appreciably, the original grid is probably adequate. However, if there is a significant change in the solutions obtained from the grid of higher resolution, it means that the original grid is likely inadequate. In such a case, an even finer grid should be tested until the grid is adequately resolved. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.